Today I'm showing you our Neosonic MX RIC style hearing aid. RIC stands for receiver in the canal device, which means the receiver is setting inside your canal. Inside the box, you will find our quick guide, our MX RIC rechargeable hearing aid owner's manual, and then we will pull out the hearing aids the hearing aids come in a nice little box to store them in. The hearing aids themselves feature buttons on the back of the device. You have a power button and you have a volume up and down. To access the power button and turn the hearing aid on, you will press and hold for three seconds. At this point, you will see a green light. The green light indicates the hearing aid is on. Once you have the hearing aid in your ear, you can choose to turn the volume up or down. If you need it louder, you're going to press at the top of the volume button. If you need it softer, press at the bottom of the volume button. Depending on the situations that you are in, you can change the program button here with, by doing a short press. There are four program options with this one. Program one is for more mild hearing loss. Program two is when you're in noisy situations. Program three is a moderate hearing loss, so therefore it's going to be louder. And then program four would be like a more outdoor noisy area. So you can access that by doing a short press on the power button. The hearing aids are color coded, so there's a red indication here letting you know that this one goes in the right ear. The red indication is also here, just below the dome. On the other device, you do have the same controls. However, it is indicated blue. Blue goes in your left ear, and it's also in two places where the blue is at. So you can easily determine which hearing device goes in which ear. When you're ready to power off the hearing aid, you'll simply do a press and hold, and at that point you will receive a blue light. Blue now means it is powered off. To start using your hearing aid, simply place the hearing aid on the top of your ear like this, grab a hold of the wire, insert into your canal, also included in your box you have your charger, your charger box looks like this, inside you will find the adapter to plug into the wall, you will also find the actual charger base. This is where you will charge your hearing aids. When you plug in your base, simply plug in. You will know that you have power to it. There's a green light that lights up here. To recharge your batteries, simply place them in the magnetic station. They will go in directly like that. Very simple to charge. If you have them in correctly, and if they are charging, you will have a blue indicator light on the actual hearing aids, letting you know that they are charging. Once this blue light on the hearing aids turns green, green means you're good to go. This will now complete your charging for the hearing aids. Also included in your box, you will find your accessory kit. Inside this box, you have your multiple dome sizes, your little cleaning brush. The two dome sizes, you have an open dome, which is, comes in two different sizes, small and medium and large, actually three different sizes. And you have the semi-ball dome, which gives you a more occlusion effect so that you do not have whistling or feedback. 
your little brush is included to keep the outside of the hearing aid clean around the dome area. You have the USB charger for your charging station and you have your wax guards. These are the little filters. If you're not hearing sound, you will change the filter.